What's up guys, so as you probably already know from the title of this video, this is going to be part one of the autocross build. This is going to be a pretty simple video, I'm just going to be replacing one of the engine tins and maybe tuck some wires or do some little odds and ends here and there. So stay tuned to see what happens. Alright, so I'm going to replace this piece of engine tin right here. Um, now the reason I'm doing this is when I upgraded to this fan shroud without the heat tubes, um, it left obviously these holes from where they were supposed to be. So what I have here is a brand new tin piece without the holes in it, and I'm going to go ahead and replace that. So when I put the motor back in this summer, I knew I was going to be replacing this tin piece, so I didn't even really attach it or anything, so it should be really easy to remove. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out now. There you go, you can see it. It's uh, pretty beat up with all the holes, and uh, the new one's going to be much nicer. Alright guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and unwrap this new piece. And that looks really, really nice. Much better than what I had in there. It's going to give a much more clean look to my engine bay. This Beetle was in a rear end collision at some point in this Rear apron's a little bit messed up, so that's kind of why I might have to slightly bend or manipulate this piece to get it to go ahead and fit in that. Looks like it should fit. We might have to work the seal around it a little bit, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is um, pull out the screws that hold the tin so I can put it in and then screw everything back down together. So it's in there. I mean, kind of. Um, you can see this side, there's plenty of room even with the seal here. I can actually fit my fingers between it. But this side, there's just no room. And it actually, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it pushed the seal down whenever I try to get this piece into place. So I think what I'm gonna do is just screw it in and leave it at that. Um, I could cut this and, uh, you know, kind of allow for that seal to be in the right place. But I feel like this is the best way to keep the engine compartment airtight. So I think I'm gonna leave it like this for a while and see how that works out. All right guys, so after I installed the new rear tin piece, I also went ahead and tucked some of my spark plug wires and other random wires in the engine bay. Just trying to give it a little bit of a cleaner look. Thanks for watching guys. There's gonna be plenty more videos in this build series. Um, I really hope to have the bug ready for spring, ready for autocross. I'm really excited to try that out. There's definitely gonna be a lot more that needs to be done to get this car fully ready for autocross. So this is probably gonna be one of the main winter projects I work on. Thank you guys for watching. Please like this video and subscribe for more content.